Medical School and today I'm going to be showing you three um, hands-on equations using integer chips and I have a negative and a positive integer chips. This is a negative x and this is a positive x. And these are whole numbers. The green is a negative whole number and the red is a positive whole number. Okay, so for the first problem we have x plus 10 equals 3x plus 2. So what we're going to do is take 1x from both sides since they both have 1 and that is a legal move. And then we're going to want to get rid of this too. So in order to do that, we need to make a pair of 0. And if we're making a pair of 0, we need to add the opposite to both sides. And then we can take that away. And then if we're doing this, we'd subtract now. 10 minus 2 is a positive 8. And then 2 goes into 8 four times. So the answer to x plus 10 equals 3x plus 2 is x equals 4. Okay, so problem number 2 is negative 10 plus x equals negative 3x plus 2. So what we're going to do is take away this x from this side. So in order to do that, we need to make a pair of 0. And we need to use a negative x white pond and add one to both sides in order to make a pair of zero since there are no blues on this side. And then after that, we need to get rid of this two. So in order to do that, we need to make another pair of zero. And then we can take this away and this together is gonna equal a negative 12. So this is negative four x chips and four x goes into 12 three times. So the answer to negative 10 plus x equals negative 3x plus 2 is x equals 3. Okay, so for the last problem we have 5 plus x plus negative 3x equals 3x plus negative 2x plus negative 1. So what we're first going to do is take away the pairs of zeros from each side. And then we're going to need to take away this blue pond from this side. In order to do that, you need to add um, a white pond to each side to make a pair of zero. And then you could take this away. And then we need to take this five from this side. So then we add a negative five to each side and take this away. And then the five plus one it would equal a negative six. So after that, three can go into six two times. So five plus x plus negative three x equals three x plus negative two x plus negative one. The answer to that would be x equals two.